family, Prime Minister Mackenzie King of Canada, Winston Churchill, and a crowd of two million review the greatest parade of victorious arms London has ever witnessed. England's rulers, with the Queen Mother and the two princesses, who set a noble example for the entire empire during the darkest hours of the war, see the hard-won victory celebrated. Britain's great war leader typifies the bulldog spirit that made her people hang on grimly until the enemy fell in defeat. Yanks, too, join in the big celebration, proudly parading old glory. While it's mainly Britain's day, most of the Allies are represented. Arnhem, Netherlands, Operation Market Garden, 1944. Lieutenant Colin Murgu, Royal Airborne Infantry. Sergeant Alan Johnson, 3rd Airborne. Staff Sergeant Max Hebert, Royal Airborne Infantry. Many Canadian paratroops were deployed in Anham, Holland in 1944. We were part of them. The soldiers were a part of Operation Market Garden. Nothing went right. We landed in a forest near a Nazi-occupied town. We were not sure what to expect, but we soon found out. We stumbled upon a German soldier, his back turned away from us. Staff Sergeant Hebert and Sergeant Johnson approached. As we slowly approached our first enemy, we shot him, eliminating our threat. But there were more dangers approaching. As it started to rain, gunshots erupted from the bushes. We ran for cover. We were outmanned and outgunned. We moved up towards a hidden clearing. We encountered another German soldier. Hesitating on our advance, we had no choice. We had to kill the soldier and hide in the hidden area. During our advance, the soldier spotted us. Both sides opened fire. He was no match for us, but our lieutenant was shot. We advanced towards the dead prey. Like vultures, we scavenged for a piece of food or ammunition. Our lieutenant was injured, but we soldiered on to our hand. Later that week, Lieutenant Mirabu passed away. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France and we shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our land, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and on the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. We advanced towards our dead prey, like vultures. We scavenged for a piece of food or any ammunition. Our lieutenant was injured, but we soldiered on. We're <laughs> 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 so keeping so it. Right. It was 1944 and at dawn. A lot of Canadian troops and Yankees and British people. <laughs> <laughs>